Hello everyone and welcome back. Today we are here for the gossip. If you're new around here, make sure you hit that subscribe button and of course leave the video with a like. So it's been, well, we'll say a couple weeks since we did a gossip. But hey, we're here now and that is what matters. So let us begin with the ceremonial armor set, which you can get to drop from Molto in Laguna Beach. So make sure you go along and grab that because as we are fully aware, most daily gifts do end up going rare. Not always, sometimes it's seasonal, but you know, it's just worth making sure you do them, just in case. Hollowborn Fiend Reaper. This one, of course, by Leia, as you can see. Very nice looking Hollowborn set. I love this kind of thing. And when you get the huge capes towering over you, it looks really nice. Of course, I'm a big fan of Scythes as well. And the colours, of course, you cannot go wrong with that one there. This is actually originally based off this Legion Fiend Reaper set. I do actually remember showing you that all them years ago. But look, that's why we've never ever seen it. And now we finally have that one answered. Exciting one here, Glacial Paragon. This set is 100% confirmed to come into the game. Granted, it's going to probably be around winter time and no idea if it would be called Glacial Paragon. That's just what I've nicknamed it for this video. But we will be seeing this, which is really nice. I love that kind of styling on the armor. So that is something to keep our eyes peeled for sometime in the future. We have this flaming set by Hikari next. And again, it looks really sweet. Now, this is kind of going along the thing. Maybe we could see this in the summer shop. Now, it's heat, it's fire. I mean, that seems logical to me. But we will surely be seeing this at some point soon. So that is quite exciting. And expect that sword probably to have quite a nice little animation with it. But again, that is just a total guess. Then we move on to this Dragon Fable crossover set. I really do quite like this. And to be fair, there's a lot of very nice gear in Dragon Fable that could just be carbon copied over to Avenge Quest, so, you know, I'm all for that, to be honest, hopefully we'll see some more of it. Next up, Blaze Binder Swim Gear. Now, if you love hot summer gear, this one will definitely be for you. As you can see, it is coming to the collection for this year's summer shop, so very exciting for that. Next up is this History Ender set. Now, no idea whether this would make its way into the game, as it looks like it was done as a commission, but of course we know from past experience that commissions do sometimes make an appearance, so we'll have to see if we get any more updates. I do really like it, and it of course is going down that chronomancer kind of way and with the updates that we could be having in the future this would fit very nicely into the way the game could potentially be heading with some storylines. Next up is Ruby Dragon Tamer, another one by Hikari that forgot to post about but hey that's the way it is and as you can see it looks really nice could it fit in with some sort of shadow flame gear i don't know maybe it could but fingers crossed we'll see that coming into the game soon then we have this set by axros again it is sort of your magical timey one so if we're going to get some sort of time event coming up i would expect to hopefully see maybe this making an appearance into the game and then lastly but certainly not least here's some plushies because we all love plushies xena has been making a few of these recently so I thought I'd just show you a few of the ones that have been designed. Those ones you can see on the screen there do have little effects as well that go with them. So guys, thank you all very much for watching. Make sure you leave a like and of course subscribe. And I'll see you all again incredibly soon for some more 1% drops or indeed the event. Whichever one makes its way onto YouTube first. Until then, have a lovely day.